Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about success. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how can I become a successful software developer? This is an all time favorite and I will give you my secret tips for how to do this. And I'm not going to charge you a damn cent for it. And I'm not going to make a top five list either or anything else. I'm just going to give you my silver bullet way to become the best developer, de developer that you could possibly be. Now the key thing I said there was that you can be and that I leave to you to consider what that actually means. But first and foremost if you want to be a successful software developer you need to understand first and foremost that it will take time. I know that that's not really what you may want to hear uh, but you will not become a successful software developer in three months. You will not become a successful software developer in a year. You will not become a successful software developer in two years. It all kind of depends on what do you mean by successful? Because my requirements would maybe are very different from what your requirements are. If you want to know some basic coding, then yes, you can be a quote unquote successful software developer in three months. You can learn the absolute bare bone basics and for most intents and purposes be practically useless to any professional environment but you could do it. If you want to be a serious software developer, a professional, someone who is in the highest demand, I th don't think that there is anybody in terms of job roles that is in higher demand than a senior software developer. You c are looking at a personal investment if you want to be a senior level experience of around five years, five to eight and with a few, well, with a few um, other things that you might have to consider there, but that is usually the investment that you're looking at. If you just want to be a junior developer or you want to get into the industry, the average time you're going to spend is one to five years. But once you have gotten those that first investment, you're looking at at least five years of experience before you ever. I would say that you're even able to to say that you're going to be a successful software like once again it depends on what you mean by software developer because if you're going to be a junior developer and you consider that to be a software a successful software developer well then yeah you can probably get your first job if you're extraordinarily lucky in the th in three after three months of work and on average is going to be one to two years i would say that is the amount of mi the minimum amount of time most of you are most uh, are very likely to spend before you get into the industry and actually get real uh, training. So, that is the first thing. Understand that this is not a sprint. This is not like getting a job at uh, as a security guard or getting a job as a cashier clerk. This is a serious investment for the vast majority of you. So, the uh, the second thing that you need in order to become a successful software developer is going to be a genuine interest in learning enough of like for the level that you want to reach because that's the thing where do you want to be if you want to be the top brass of the industry you're going to have to go pretty far if you want to just have a job you don't have to go that far you just have to learn the tools of the trade and that is a very important distinction to have because a lot of you might think that you have as a software developer every single one of the software developers are like these super nerds who do nothing but sit and study computer programming every single day and so forth and I mean most of that is uh, there are a lot of people who do that sort of thing but there I will tell you right now the average software developer does not do that they do not the difference between an average software developer and the thing that people are extra hyped about is usually they call those people rockstar developers. The reason why we call those rockstar developers is because they have a lifestyle. These are the people that you see on the open source projects. You, these are the people you see on the tech talks and so forth. These people are extra passionate. But you may not be thinking so much about all the people who are sitting in the audience. They're all software developers as well. Well, most of them are. But they're not doing the same thing. They're there to watch. They're not there to host. So think about that perspective. Which role do you want? Because if you just want a job and you want to be a successful software developer, I will say that your initial investment as a junior to get up into the industry is uh, where you, you should have a fairly decent amount of passion because it's going to get your first job. You're going to have to work for it most of the time. 
uh, usually having passion projects and going the extra mile and so forth is very important in the beginning once you have your first year or two of uh, experience you can st technically start relaxing a little bit uh, assuming of course that you have the skills to survive in the industry because just because you made it into your first job that doesn't mean that you have the skills to take your second job you need to get into a maturity as I said you you're going to look at an investment of it around one to five years before you get to a point where well people feel very comfortable hiring you for different jobs and so forth and you kind of have what you need in order to do those jobs with that said, on the other hand, if you want to go even further and become one of the bigger, like if you want to be a truly senior software developer or someone who is uh, a tech lead type of thing or so forth, you're going to have to not only learn how to master the two tools of the trade, you're also going to have to learn how to work with social aspects. You're going to have to get develop charisma. You're going to have to develop a backbone to be able to speak your mind and to to communicate effectively with people because I can tell you right now the average uh, software developer who doesn't actually do any of this stuff is basically just a yes person it is an individual who uh, I like to we like the term that I like to use lovingly use is code monkey a code monkey it's just an in, in, in like a person where like whatever happens like just tell them what they what they need to do but you need to tell them what to do because you have to direct them and point with the entire hand this is what you're supposed to be doing and they will do it. That is the, uh, an average uh, software developer and technically they are successful because they're getting, gonna get paid regardless of if they push it or if they just fall or just do whatever they are told. The system on the other hand, well that's a different video how that's gonna turn out. So if you want to go even higher than that you need to show that you have the right business mindset and the right technical mindset and you need to be able to talk to people and that's usually when you start elevating yourself and becoming more than just a code monkey. If that's not for you, that's fine, because that is, uh, it's a harder role to fulfill, because it requires you to both have technical skills and have social skills. If you only have social skills, then you're, well, then you're basically a manager. Like, uh, then I don't even think that you can, uh, you, you don't apply to be called a successful software developer. But this is the this is kind of the task that you have in front of you. So to gain all of this, you have to understand that this is a serious investment. It will be worth it if you actually care about what you do, and it is a very achievable goal. But it will require you to uh, you're going to have to invest. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to be a successful software developer, you should realize that it takes time to become a successful software developer. You are looking at an average time to get into the industry and get your bearings of around one to five years. That is the average range. The reason why I state that exact number is because that is the average range if you go and look at your job postings in the region that are that you wanna work and where they're hiring software developers. That is the normal range of what they ask when they're hiring software developers. And there's a very good reason for that, because that is also, as I said, the amount of time roughly that it's going to take you to get to a point where you are pretty much able to work with the tools of the trade. You can know the things that you need in order to build the things that are going to be required of you. And most companies are only interested in hiring successful software developers. They're not interested in hiring people who are basic, who know some basic coding that they have to train. They don't want to train you. They want you to do your to to already be trained when when you go to the interview. That's not all companies, but a lot of companies think that way. You can stay there and you will be considered a successful software developer if you get that initial investment in place and you go the extra mile a little for a little while, then and most of the software developers actually start getting a little bit lazy and start relaxing. As I said, they go from trying to be on the stage and just sitting in the audience, uh, to just wanting to sit in the audience. If you want to be on stage, you need to not only master the tools of the trade, you need and have the passion to do so, you also need to master the social aspects. You need to be able to understand business and you need to understand the stakeholders and communication and things of this nature. If you go to that point, you're getting to a, to a sphere of uh, development where you are able to lead your own teams, you're able to start your own IT company like I mean, you can technically start be a freelancer even if you don't do this sort of thing, but you're very well equipped to take on a leadership role and not just be a coder. You are a leader of coders. It's the difference between being a code monkey and being a tech lead, usually. 
And so you have to ask yourself, is that what you want? Because you can be a successful software developer without having to go that far. But if you want to push it to the highest levels, that's the direction you need to uh, need to go. You need to spend time both on the tech skills and the social skills. Have a great day.